All right, so question one, do you have any hidden talents? So I can actually solve the Rubik's Cube in under one minute, which is a talent that I feel like a lot of magicians do have, but that's definitely my hidden talent. Question two, have you ever seriously considered quitting social media? And honestly, I have a couple times. I'm a full-time student, so sometimes balancing schoolwork with creating content can become a bit overwhelming, but I'm definitely glad I stuck with it. Question three, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? I personally would go to Iceland because I heard they have zero crime, 24 hour daylight all summer long, no mosquitoes, and some of the most scenic landscapes. It honestly sounds like a utopia, and I would love to go check it out. Question four, if you could only choose one food to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would have to choose sushi, just because I love the food, and every sushi bar I've gone to has just been an amazing experience, and honestly, nothing beats sushi. Question five, what advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media creator? I would say be consistent and patient, and also try new things. It took me three months of posting before I saw any results at all on social media. And try out a bunch of new video ideas, and once something sticks, build a series off that video and create an audience and community in that way. Question six, what is your favorite birthday memory? So on my 19th birthday, that was the exact day that I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, which was honestly a childhood dream come true. So that's definitely number one. Question seven, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? I would choose limitless knowledge, just because if I knew literally everything, I could complete any task or perform any skill with ease. Question eight, who is the first creator that you followed on social media? So the first creator that I remember following was Sean Does Magic. And at the time, I only had a few hundred followers and he had like 11 million and he actually took the time to follow me back and that was something that really inspired me and motivated me to keep going in those early stages. And to this day, my dream is still to collaborate and make some videos with him. Number nine, what is your favorite holiday and why? I personally love Thanksgiving. I think there's a great message behind it and the food is always fantastic. And also here in Canada, Canadian Thanksgiving usually falls around or sometimes even on my actual birthday. So I love to celebrate it. Question 10, what are your favorite movies of all time? I personally loved Avengers Infinity War. I loved how linear the story was and how at the end it was kind of a twist where the villain actually won and it left us on a cliffhanger. I also love Rocky IV. I think that movie is just iconic and that scene where he's training in the snow is just so hype. Question 11, when did you first go viral? So the first time I ever went viral was in 2020. I remember I posted a video, went to go watch a movie, and then when I came back to check my phone, the video already had 8,000 views just a couple hours later. I remember going to bed that night, waking up the next morning, and it was past a million. And that was honestly the start of everything. And number 12, what's one thing that the people who follow you probably don't know about you? And that's that I'm six foot two. I feel like some people assume that creators are a bit shorter than they actually are, but I'm definitely a tall one. And that's about it. You can find me at The Magic Matt on any social media platform. And I also do storytelling and skit type videos under Matty P Stories and Matty P Skits. So hopefully you can follow along and I'll see you there. Take care.